Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you about our experience with co-sleeping and bed sharing. And uh, first of all, I will say that bed sharing and co-sleeping are two different things. They mean two different things. So I think that a lot of people think that co-sleeping means that the baby is in bed with you. But technically, it just means sleeping in the same room. Bed sharing is where the baby is in the bed with you. And um, before I ever had Charlotte, Mike and I both agreed that Charlotte would not be in bed with us at night. Mike is a very heavy sleeper. He will not wake up for anything. It's really hard to wake him up. And he rolls over a lot in his sleep. So that was a concern for us that if she was in bed with us, he might roll over on her or whack her or something. Um, I am not a super heavy sleeper, but it was still kind of a scary thought having a teeny tiny little newborn baby um, in bed with us when we're asleep and, you know, it's easy to just kind of roll over or flail your arm or something. So it was something that we never intended to do. Uh, we intended to have her sleep in our room with us and we got, uh, luckily we were able to, able to borrow the Arms Reach Co-Sleeper. And if you don't know what that is, it is a kind of bassinet, but it, one of the sides drops down and it attaches to your bed. So it's not, um, you know, you have to like get up out of bed and go get the baby. It's just right there. So I liked that idea that she would be right there. And so that was what we planned on using. And so we had it all set up. Um, it's got a lot of pockets. So I had, you know, diapers and all kinds of stuff in the pockets all set up and I put a sheet on it and I was ready to go. So when we brought Charlotte home from the hospital, we, um, you know, we're just exhausted, especially me. And I remember those first few days, she was really into cluster feeding. Like she would just want to nurse forever, it seemed like. And so I remember, <clears throat> pardon me, that first night that we came home from the hospital, I was in her nursery with her and I was sitting in the glider and I was rocking her and nursing for like an hour and I was just so tired. So Mike said, why don't you try laying down with her in bed and nursing? So I thought, okay, we'll give it a try. And that was my first time trying the side lying nursing position. So I got in bed with her, laid down, and we both passed out. It was so comfortable. <laughs> and um, we fell asleep. And I think I woke up probably an hour or two later and I was like, oh my God, that's the best thing ever. You know, I don't, it's not hurting my back. I don't have to, you know, try to keep myself awake because we're sitting up and I'm holding her. So I thought, okay, well, we'll just give this a try. And since she was nursing so much, I thought, okay, well, I'll just keep her in bed with me instead of having to keep getting her and, you know, that whole thing. So that was where it started. Um, I made sure my husband <laughs> was all the way on his side of the bed. We have a king size bed. And he was like banished to the very far end. He had like maybe like that much room. <laughs> he had to sleep on his side. And um, cause I was, you know, of course scared that she was, he was gonna roll over on her or something. So um, he was banished. And I had her, I, I was laying um, facing the middle of the bed on my side and she would be between us, but right up against me. So she would be nursing and she'd write up against me. And something that I noticed, and I'm sure that this is true for most, if not all moms, is my sleeping completely changed. I was never a super heavy sleeper, but um, I definitely would sleep all night and um, little things wouldn't really wake me up. But ever since having Charlotte, any little tiny peep or noise or movement or something immediately wakes me up. And I also don't really move around in my sleep a lot. Um, even now when she doesn't sleep in bed with us anymore, and I'll get into that. But it's just funny how stuff changes. So I felt completely comfortable having her sleep right up against me. And anytime she made any kind of movement or noise or anything, I was immediately awake. And um, it worked really well for us. And we slept like that for, I think until she was about three months old, maybe three and a half months old. And, um, you know, I got more relaxed as time went on about Mike and he didn't have to be pushed all the way to the side, but, um, it, it was totally fine for us. You know, um, I felt completely comfortable that I could be there. I could wake up if she needed anything. Sorry if my camera's shaking. 
Um, and it, it was comfortable, and since I'm breastfeeding, it was super easy that she would wake up in the middle of the night, and I could just nurse her, and we would both fall back asleep. So it's been really great, and we really didn't start using the co-sleeper until she started getting to the point where she was really active in her sleep, and she would start kicking and flailing, and she also would start turning sideways. So one of us would be at her feet, one of us would be at her head, and whoever was at the feet end would be getting kicked all night. So uh, Mike and I both kind of decided that it was time for her to be in a separate space, but I was not ready for the crib yet. So we moved her to the co-sleeper, and that worked really well. Uh, the one thing that was a little bit hard was starting out with transitioning her while she was asleep. Um, since I just nurse her to sleep all the time, she has not learned how to put herself to sleep, and I'm okay with that. I don't have a problem nursing her to sleep, but the first maybe week or so, it was hard because she would fall asleep and I would try to like be really careful about like scooting her over into the co-sleeper and not waking her up, and she woke up a few times, but um, it was just kind of I had to practice. <laughs> But it was nice having the bed back, I will say that. Um, one of the things that I wasn't crazy about with the whole bed sharing was I felt like I couldn't stretch out, I felt like I couldn't roll over if I needed to, so it was a little bit uncomfortable. Um, but I, I, I'm glad that we decided to do it. It was definitely just kind of a last minute, spur of the moment decision to bed share, and um, it worked out really well. So. I felt completely safe doing it. Um, my husband felt fine. There were some nights that he slept um, in here on the futon because um, sometimes Charlotte and I would take the whole bed. But um, yeah, so that, that was our experience with bed sharing. Um, she does still sleep in bed with us sometimes, but we transitioned her to her co-sleeper when she was, I wanna say between three and four months old. And she's the super long baby. She's like off the charts at every doctor's appointment. So she's five and a half months old and she's 29 inches, which is crazy. Um, the arms reach co-sleeper that we have, I believe that we have the mini version and it's only 30 inches long, the mattress length. So she's pretty much, I mean, she's done. Um, when she turned five months old, she kept waking up when I would put her in there um, throughout the night. And I think that she was just so big that she would kind of kick or flail or try to roll over and she would hit the sides and it would wake her up. So. I thought, oh great, what am I gonna do now? I, I was not emotionally ready to put her in her crib yet. I felt like it was so far away, even though it's right across the hall from us and we do have a video monitor. I just was like scared and had anxiety about it. So I think probably about two weeks ago, right around when she was five months old, we put her in our crib for the first time at night. And she had taken a couple naps in there, but mostly her time in the crib had been spent a week. Um, I would put her in there if I was putting her laundry away or getting her bath ready or something, and she would just kind of hang out. But um, she did really amazing. The very first night that we put her in her crib, she slept through the night. She slept eight and a half hours, and she's never done that, ever. And it was, it was crazy. I did not sleep well because I was staring at the video monitor all night, and it kept waking up and looking at the video monitor and being like, is she okay? And I went in her room a couple times just to check to make sure she was still alive. Um, but it was crazy. Like, I, I think she was just ready. She needed her own space. Um, I think that noises that Mike and I were making in the night when we were rolling over or if my husband was snoring or something like that was waking her up. So um, it, was, it was really great to have her be in her own space and have her sleep the whole night. So that was incredible. Uh, it has not yet become a pattern. We do put her in our crib every night now. There were a few nights where we didn't. Um, I, I do still nurse her in bed to sleep. And then once she's asleep, I carry her into her crib. So there were a few nights that I would nurse her and then we would both fall asleep and um, she would sleep in bed with us at night. And it's just, it's getting to the point where it's, it's like a joke. Um, none of us sleep well. Usually when I have her sleep in bed with us now, my husband doesn't even come to bed because he says he'll come to bed and both of us are just sprawled out. So, um, and she just is so big now. She takes up so much room. And, but um, a couple nights ago, she slept through the night again. She slept eight hours and it was great. So I think that the more we put her in there, the more used to it she gets, the more kind of routine it becomes. Um, 
that she's really going to start sleeping through the night a lot more. So I'm really happy with how our whole sleep situation has gone. Um, she's generally always been a good sleeper. She has only had a handful of days in her whole little five and a half month life where she's woken up in the middle of the night and had a lot of trouble going back to sleep. She usually will just nurse and fall back asleep. So we've really lucked out in that department. Um, pretty much ever since day one, she has been able to tell night from day. And she never, I think maybe only two or three times has she woken up at like two o'clock in the morning and wanted to stay awake for hours. So she's a pretty good sleeper. Um, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm glad with how our whole sleep situation worked out. And she does sleep in her crib now, and I, I feel okay with it now. I still am a little bit nervous. But um, it works out really well. So that's our experience with bed sharing, co-sleeping, and um, transitioning to the crib. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know. And I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you do want to bed share with your baby, um, just do some research. But I think if you are careful about it and you do it in the right way, it's totally fine. And if you're breastfeeding, it's a bonus because you don't have to get up out of bed 50 times a night. <laughs> you just pop a boob in their mouth and go back to sleep. So works really well. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and talk to you later. Bye.